Now, um, uh, in the kitchen grabbing something, and she will be out here in a minute. So, we have uh, some great, two great things you can do with leftover corned beef. Um, and this is my corned beef. It's not leftover. I actually did it last night, or I smoked it last night. And um, so I smoked it for about uh, three or four hours, and then I, um, I put it in a little aluminum pan with a little bit of beef broth, and um, you know the pepper seeds that come with it. Um, and I did that till I woke up this morning. So this thing is beautiful. And then this is a little chunk that I cut off so I could taste it without messing up the, uh, the artwork here. So, Wendy, where you at? Come on, hurry up. All right, Wendy's drinking a beer. I'm drinking a Guinness. I'm drinking my normal, my normal uh, vodka. And I'm drinking fruit. a Guinness for the show, but I don't have time to do my clover leaf on the top. Uh, somebody's right, rushing. Anybody want? Um, yep, 21 people. Dan right. Churchill, Linda, Jen Johnson. Good morning, Jen Johnson. All right. I don't think you can tell on the uh, YouTube. No, so you look, can't. Uh, last was it last week? We were in uh, Nashville. And we did a dual live feed, one for Facebook and one for YouTube. Now the YouTube uh, sound wasn't that great, so I actually ordered a microphone for that device. Um, so we'll have a separate microphone for that. But it's actually coming in today, it's not here yet. So I don't know how good the sound is gonna be on YouTube. Uh, Facebook, we already know, sounds always awesome. Um, so what we're doing, <clears throat> Both of these dishes are freaking awesome. They both have corned beef. Um, one is a corned beef beast burger. What you showing? I'm going on the corned beef. Oh, well, I already showed you the corned beef. <laughs> oh, did you? All right. All right. And the other is a corned beef grilled cheese. And when he's trying to detach. Yeah, give me a second to. Got it. Woohoo. <clears throat> She's a brute force kind of girl. <laughs> So, some things just take brute force. I'm sorry. I think she's trying to break it. <laughs> so, um, we actually have two different things. I was going to bring my slicer out to do this because um, we want to get nice thin slices for the uh, grilled cheese, but I think my knife will do a good job. Um, I just want to cut into this bad boy. Oh, man. Here we go. So we need nice, nice thin slices for the uh, grilled cheese. So we do have a, uh, a decision to make. <laughs> we got two different kinds of bread for the grilled cheese. One is a sourdough bread. And the, un, the, un, the other <laughs> is a, an artesian bakery bread. So... Um, I don't know if anybody has an opinion which one we should use. I'm not going to tell you which one <laughs> Wendy wants to use. Technically, she didn't get the bread I wanted, so we're going to go with one of these. <laughs> so, if anybody can mention which one they think it would be best on. Starkey said one of each for him. So <laughs> right. we've got the sourdough or we've got the artesian. Right, sourdough or artesian. The, the artesian Or we is, can make one of each. Some people say you do one of each. You know what? That's what we should do. One of each. So, all right, so. Marcus, we're gonna have some things you can make with that corned beef. Yeah, look, slice the corned beef up nice and thin. <laughs> Jen said not sour, do you sound like your dad, Jen? Where's your phone at? It's inside. Well, you should have that out here to take pictures with. Well, if you pause, I can grab pictures off of here. We can grab pictures off of there. Like if it's sitting like that, then you can snatch it out the video. I can't take pictures and hold this thing at the same time. All right, I just need to make sure I cut enough of this up. And leave enough for the hamburger. So, uh, how many people we got on right now? 40, and yep, 40. 40? Um, I don't know if anybody's watching from YouTube. We got uh, one like on YouTube. So, uh, one person, it seems like, is on YouTube. So, look, um, something that, that we should be doing right now. And if I had my phone in my hand and we weren't filming with it, I'd do it too. 
We need to be sharing. Share, the share. Feed. Share the feed, share the feed, share the feed. Like it and share it. So, um, if you could please share the feed, that would help give us some reach. Okay, so now I need to get enough of this. That's probably enough for a couple of sandwiches, right? Yeah, oh, pfft. yeah. I'm going to get plenty. another slice here. You need a um, half a pound. That man, that oh, looks man. really good. It is good, actually, y'all. I got into it this morning. We need half a pound for the... Um, let me separate that. For the burgers. So. All right, well. You're going to chop it already? Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. Everybody sharing. All right. All right. I'm not, I'm not measuring anything today. I'm not weighing anything. I'm just kind of winging it. That's some good stuff. All right. I forgot to put my gloves on. <laughs> good thing it's just me and you here. <laughs> Actually, the biggest reason I use the gloves is so I don't have to keep wiping my hands. Right. You know? Because I'm going to be getting uh, my hands all dirty in the hamburger. So, what should I do first? Oh. Um... Try that again. I Burgers. We need to make. So first, what we need, <clears throat> we need to dice up a couple of chives here, or I mean, uh, green onion and chives here. Sharky wants a piece that fell off the uh, yeah, off the board. Of, yeah. All right, so. I have one issue, if you could come see if you know how to fix it, because I don't want to mess up the camera. Our pot... Okay. Whew. The scares got <laughs> cut off We're the feed. A serious issue. <laughs> um, Ace went out of town for the weekend, Starkey. Don't know if she came back in last night or not, but we have not seen her, so we are assume she's not up here today, right? Oh, is this the piece you were talking about, Starkey? <laughs> Sorry, Starkey. Is this the piece you were talking about? Tell you what. As my grandson does. <laughs> when he eats. It's good. All right. This stuff is a pain in the butt to cut. You should have got... Pre-chopped parsley. Yeah, we should have got some pre-chopped parsley. It's just me, Wendy, me being Wendy, Daniel, and David. Wendy always talks about herself as in the third person. Well, no, he said, Who, who's helping you? And I said, me, but I wanted to make sure. I didn't want to say me, Wendy, and then it would be like three people. Yeah, we don't need two Wendy's. Definitely don't need that. So, um, once I know I saw a lot of people doing uh, pastrami and Lucas, stuff. Lucas, good job. Nice. Um... Starkey's making pastrami today. Lucas, last day of his diet. Today, he's down 26 pounds. He went out for St. Patty's Day and drank water. What? Yep. Green water, we hope. Water mixed with vodka? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing grapefruit juice. I'm doing because we needed stout beer for the recipe. I'm drinking a Guinness. Yeah, Wendy's a beer girl. Mm -hmm. She drinks beer. She loves beer. Mm-hmm. Her and her cousin Keith, they're like beer connoisseurs. <laughs> Me, I don't know shit about beer. I just know I don't really care for it. So anyway, all right. That looks good. Yeah. It came out nice. I know it is. I'm good. I'm talented. So, let me, uh, I know this isn't sexy, but it is what needs to get done. All right, and it's going to be Thank very you, Starkey. exciting. Starkey said you got to love a woman who drinks beer. You don't have to. <laughs> Sometimes. But, but you better, especially when they drink a beer. Sometimes you do. <laughs> All right. Let's see that's not even. So we'll get rid of some of this because we need even parts. All right. So does everybody know the difference between a scallion and a chive? When he's going to score us. Well, I only know that the chives are smaller, and those bigger ones are the scallions. Yeah. 
I mean, they look the same, except for the size. So, did anybody have fun yesterday? All right, so here we go. We got our chives. Let me cut that end off. Cool, Lucas. <laughs> Debbie Reynolds said yesterday was her husband's birthday. Perfect day for a, dr a beer drinking Irishman. No shit. Every day is a perfect day for a beer drinking Irishman, right? You know what they say? As you can see, I'm not a professional chopper. Well, do y'all know we sent out in our email kind of the where corned beef, the term comes from. But did everybody know? Go ahead. Um, so back when England in the 16th century conquered Ireland, um, the Irish actually ate a lot of pig, and cow was considered um, uh, a wealthy kind of meat. But anyway, England started ex exporting the, the cattle from Ireland to England and where beef became a staple. And they are the, actually the ones who termed it corned beef because of the rock salt uh, that was used to cure the meat. It was chunked and it was, it was big chunks of rock salt that resembled little kernels of corn. So that's where the, um, the term corned beef comes from. Ta-da! All right. <laughs> I feel smarter already. Little tidbits of useless information. Right, tidbit of useless information. <laughs> but it's still interesting, right? No, it is. It is. Everybody should know stuff. All right. Yeah, we should all know stuff. All right, so. Right oh, here. happy birthday, Candy. Pat said today's Candy's birthday. Oh, really? Pat's wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Candy. All right, look. So, I'm not sure exactly how much butter we have in here. We got close to a stick of butter. Yeah. We had to soften it up in the microwave. You know how that goes. Kind of lose some in the microwave. So look, we have equal parts of the parsley, the chives, and the green onions. Chopped them up nice and fine. We're just gonna throw it all in there. All right. It's about a tablespoon to two tablespoons each. So you want to mix all that up. Think that looks too buttery? Nope. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks perfect. All right. So. This is how easy this is. I'll tell you this. The last Beast with the Feast, it was painful. Feast with the Beast. Right, Feast with the Beast. <laughs> it was two freaking hours long. We can't do another one like and that. And it was very um, complicated. Oh it was very complicated. Lesson learned. We will not do that again. Uh, we appreciate everybody who stuck, <laughs> stuck with us the whole time. But, um, yeah, it's not going to happen again. So today we're simplifying. Right. This is very simple. We might even get out of here early. All right. Sorry, Luke, because I tried to break it down to <laughs> easy little sentences and paragraphs. Luke said it was a lot of reading he had to do on that email yesterday. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> but but did you learn something? Did you learn right, something? You learn no, something. or some, some people did. But did you die? No. You did not. Right. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. All right, so we're going to do one with sourdough. <laughs> this is going to be so beautiful, y'all. So beautiful. Lucas, I like to read, so I don't, uh, I cannot understand that sentence you just wrote. <laughs> he said reading's hard. I'm an avid reader. I'm, Ask David. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with you there, Lucas. I bring a book with me, so if I stop at a red light, only, I can read. The only stuff I like to read is if, if I'm learning something. I cannot read. <clears throat> Just for the sake of good. Me. I have to be learning to figure something out and I'll read all day um, But I, it's not like It's not like I don't know what kind of stuff when you read what do you read? When you... I read true crime and I read um, a lot of biographies and memoirs It's interesting to see how they solve it. All right, so Nia yeah. we are making She's um, trying to make sure she knows how to get away with killing me Already, I've been doing that since I was 12. I've been reading this for a long time. See? <laughs> if something happens to me, y'all. She did. Um, let's see. Nia, we are making an Irish <sighs> grilled cheese and corned beef sandwich. And a an Irish um, hamburger, corned beef hamburger. Okay, so. Which we're going to call the corned beast hamburger because it's got some ground meat in it as well. 
probably should um, do the hamburger next, get that all ready. This is all ready to go, okay? So, believe it or not, this mixture here goes on the inside of the sandwich, all right? So, I'm going to set this aside so I can mix the hamburger up so I can hit the grill with both things all at the same time and look like a professional. I just have to answer Lucas. Lucas, I read all of the Harry Potters and all of the Game of Thrones way before Game of Thrones was popular on HBO. I'm talking... 15 years ago. I have them all. There, it's the end of the talk about reading. But yes, I like to read. All right, so normally we use uh, a 80-20, but they didn't have 80-20, so we got 85-15. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I probably would have just said it was 80-20. Anyway, all right, so we have that. Oh, I need to mix my onion up. I got my Shit aside. It, does, it looks very similar. Remind me. Yeah. What you doing? Try to um. Yeah, onion, onion, garlic, and uh, uh corned beef. That's it, right? Salt and pepper. Yeah, you have you to. Salt and pepper out here. Mm, I got pepper. All right, well, I just saw it. Or just a half an onion. So I'm gonna just do a half an onion. So the um the cheese we're using on the Irish grilled cheese is an Irish cheddar. Where's that pack of Irish cheddar? Ah, there it is. So we are using Kerrygold Reserve Cheddar um, for our grilled cheese today. I know grilled cheese sales oh, like this kind of plain. Congratulations. But this is going to be off the hook. Yes, Daniel. What? <laughs> Am I your wife? <laughs> For the time being. For here and there. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> That's it, true shit. It's a day, it's a day <laughs> by day. <laughs> this is a reality show. It is true shit. It is kind of reality. It is. <laughs> Alright. So look. Alright, I got these right. good enough. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take. You only use that much in there. All right, you're only doing one thing of uh, meat. Yeah, I'm just all right. Then okay. we're gonna throw. Me too, David. Some garlic, like that much. And then I will throw in. To be about a, third? a quarter cup, with yeah. a pound of meat. Okay, we'll go with that. <clears throat> all right, we want to mix all this up. Yeah, David, it's great over here. The birds are lovely. He loves the chirping birds. Yeah, it actually, it is pretty cool around here. Actually, our, the last house, it was like that too. Yeah. When we lived in Algiers, it, it, it was in a bird sanctuary. So we had like tons of birds. It's kind of crazy, right? All that crime. Right in the and middle of New Orleans, everywhere. you have a bird. You live in a bird sanctuary. Just needs a little bit more. Did you make sure that was it? What? The um that we don't need anything else. You put the garlic, you put the onion. Garlic and onion. All right. That's it. Where's the new? All right, look. Starkey, you can definitely do this with your pastrami, corned beef yeah, pastrami. Yeah, there's not really. Uh, I mean, what's the difference, right? Right. There's not much. Like it more. more corned beef? Yeah, more corned beef. I think that's plenty. <laughs> you want to add more? Add more. No, there's not enough corned beef in there. Let's just get mixed in. Well, add a little bit more. I think it. I think it's good. It, it's one pound of ground meat to a quarter cup of chopped beef. Not enough. Uh -oh. Look, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to chop just a little bit more of this corned beef up so I can have my mixture the way I want it. <laughs> After he puts on his surgical gloves. That's right. I wish I could show you guys the new products. But last time I did that, um, everybody was going to the website trying to buy them and we didn't have it set up. So, all right, that's just a little fat. Actually, that would probably be really good in there. Oh, man. 
Dan Olson, we are making a uh, Irish and uh, Irish grilled cheese and corned beef, grilled cheese and corned beef sandwich, and an Irish um, corned beef hamburger. Y'all see how juicy this is? That it, that does look good. Look at that. It's mm. a big thing of fat. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> oh. I had some props. I had a leprechaun hat and mustache. Speaking of props, it's lit to have a damn product out here. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that don't know, because <laughs> it is funny that a lot of people don't even realize we um, are a brand of uh, barbecue uh, products. So if you go to grillbeast.com, you'll see what we have. All right, look, since we got big buns, some of, us, some of us around here got big buns. And we some of us around here like big buns. That's true. So there you go. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to make... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a, it's a big old burger. It's a big burger. I'm going to put my scissors in. Um, there you go. Yeah, it shouldn't be in there. No. Hopefully it goes. So that was a pound. So these are half pounders. What? That's too big. So... And y'all can always make them the size you want. Yeah, you we just happen to get the um the big buns. So Lucas likes big buns, and he cannot lie. <laughs> Them other brothers can deny, right, Lucas? <laughs> All right, here we go. I should have grabbed an extra plate. Well, why don't you use that one, and then when you get your gloves off, you can go grab another mm -hmm. plate. So we got some healthy burgers here. Those are very healthy. Those are, we probably share that. There we go. We're making two. <clears throat> I didn't put salt and pepper in here. I'm going to have to put salt and pepper. All right. Paul, I think they're actually making gluten-free buns now. I swear I saw them in a store the other day. Gluten-free buns? Yeah, like for people that have to be on a gluten-free diet. <clears throat> Benjamin Hall said don't work the meat too much. What, the hamburger? I'm guessing. You mean the hamburger, right, Benjamin? All right. Get our bread back over here. We got our sourdough. And we got our artesian. Alright? So what we're gonna do. Thanks, Robert. I don't know if it's too buttery. Uh-uh. It's going on the inside. Yeah. So you put this on the inside, right? Of both Thanks, pieces. Lucas. You're going to need a butter knife at some point. <laughs> Do y'all have a wife that just seems to feel like they need to tell you everything? And you're like, I don't need to be told everything. I made it a long way <laughs> without being told shit. <laughs> I'm just curious. Does anybody else's wife do that shit? Todd Kern said, yep. <laughs> but have you ever, but does it sometimes save your ass todd kern does it sometimes save your ass you went oh yes you're right john sarky it's not whipped butter it's just um we melted the it butter was, yeah, it's, it's softened butter and i whipped it with the when i put the stuff in there um <laughs> stephen mass said yes but she's redheaded and irish and he's scared of her <laughs> David said they all do. Todd Kern said, "Yep, he has learned things." Lucas said he did. Now he's single. <laughs> uh, right, Linda, so we've been married. It'll be eight years yeah. this year. You would think it was forever. It yeah, like forever. at five years, <laughs> five years. Somebody said, 
I can't believe it's five years I'm already, and I'm like, oh, I thought it was ten. <laughs> We're cutting the cheese. That's some skill. That is some skill. We don't have a cheese cutter. Or actually, I am the cheese cutter. Right. Cut a few more pieces. That looks really good. That's the good uh, consistency of the cheese. Now, <clears throat> so I'm going to do this on the grill. Yeah, I'm going to do it on the grill. Okay. Chris, I am from New Orleans originally. David is from New Orleans, but originally from Maryland. Yeah, I grew up in Maryland, Eastern Shore, Maryland, in a little tiny town called Cordova. Cordova. It's like a population of I don't even know what. More than Phillips, Wisconsin. More than Phillips, Wisconsin, that's right. <laughs> Probably not many more. It was a town so small they didn't even have a stoplight. So. So if you if you slice your own cheese and it breaks apart, just do this. It all melts anyway. Okay. Again, I, see I don't have gloves on. What? Oh, nothing. I was gonna say this could maybe use a little bit more cheese. Well, I'm gonna put another layer of cheese. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Oh my god, I accidentally touched that butter, that chive butter. That is really good. So I'm doing a layer of corned beef. What? Oh, I almost put, I would do that. those after, after the next layer of cheese. Yeah. Exactly. Right. See? Wait, admit it. Aren't you glad I was here just now? <laughs> Say yes. You just said you almost forgot. Doesn't mean I would have. Mm hmm. Wendy's not a bad sidekick sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, congratulations. Russell, 30 years this past January. He's what? been married. You need a trophy. All right. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hmm. All, All right. right. <clears throat> that looks amazing already. It does. So now we'll go another layer of cheese. I'm gonna have to cut some cheese. Cut the cheese. That, that one, that one that, looks yeah. so good. Yep. All right, so another layer of cheese. <laughs> Thought somebody was showing up. Right. <laughs> All right, now look. Wow, Dan Churchill, 40 years in August. August what? Dan, we want to know August what? We have some birthdays in August, mainly David's, and he always likes to make sure everything falls on his birthday, you know, if give, possible. Um, I'm going to give a couple of shirts away. Okay. So, think of a reason to give shirts away. Oh! I think his name is Cody Holmes. He just had a baby. Ah! Dan Churchill, August 18th. What? Dan Churchill gets a shirt. That's my birthday. There you go, Dan Churchill. You get a shirt. Text Pat and not text. Email Pat your size. Look at this. Which one you want. So, look. On top of this, you put... Bread and butter. Oh man, that doesn't look sexy. There you go. Bread and butter pickles. <laughs> Bread and butter pickles. Man, I should have got the ones that went forward first. All right, here we go. Oh, here's the here we go. Here we go now. No, Dal, these are the bread and butter for this recipe. We have some dill to put right, on the bread side. And, bread and butter, right. Because you already get the salty and all that from the um, corned beef. So this is going to help even all that out. Dude, look at this. <laughs> Starkey said it's kind of like a southern Reuben. Oh, my God. This is going to be so Ready, because it's even better. For you, like me, with high cholesterol, 
This will not. Oh, it's about to look even better. Don't you worry. That's like one of those things when you go to a nice restaurant and they come and they scrape the, <laughs> the breadcrumbs off of your table. It's great. So I don't know if you guys realize this. After the show, no matter what we do, it takes me like three hours to clean up. That's with me pre-cleaning. It right. still takes him three hours. By the time I'm done, I'm like, I'm freaking done. I freaking lay on the couch and I don't, I'm like done. I can't do anything. I'm... Okay. So we got our... We gotta get you got the hamburger over there. So still, we need to get butter on the outside of this bad boy, <clears throat> right? Uh -huh. So now we just spread, spread it. Y'all are not gonna believe this sandwich when it's done. Even if you think it's done, it just needs have to, to be grilled. I'm undecided on whether to do this on the grill or the uh, flat top. I'm gonna I would do it on the flat top. Yeah, I'm doing it on the grill. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Do one on the grill and one on the flat top. No, they have to be cooked equally. So we know which one's better. Right? All right, look. I'm putting my gloves back on. Because i got to flip these over and uh, put some more butter. Butter, butter, butter. So, uh, so we know, was it Dan Henry? Was that his name? Uh, I think so. He went, it's gone. My feed is gone. But I, he's gonna, he's, feed is gone. not my feed. Well, he, I'm gonna have to scroll oh, back yeah, down. Yeah. I think his name is Dan Henry. Dude, you get a t-shirt or a hat, apron, yeah, whichever, I can whatever find you him. want, man. Um, and he said it was 40 years ago. It'd be funny if it was 50 years ago. Oh, my God. Dan <laughs> Churchill. Dan Churchill. And look. Um, is Cody Holmes on? Or Cody? The, the dude that just had the baby in the, in the group. Alright. Got you, Dan. I found you. Dan Churchill. Be careful poking around on that screen. I'm being very careful. Alright. I need some ice. Well, I can't run and get it for you, so. Oh, wait. I need to do the mustard. Oh, right. The mustard's for the burgers, so. Yeah, so I need to get that all ready. All right, I still have a little bit of prep to do, and uh, this is, <clears throat> you got Dijon mustard. That sounds good, Dan. You got honey. You got some beer, right? Right? No. Yep. Yeah. Beer. Stout beer. And your pepper. Hold on. The beer goes into the mustard? No, that's for the, um, no. Yeah, the beer goes into the mustard. That's to make the mustard for the hamburger. Yeah, it does. It is a mustard I've never done. It does. It's like one teaspoon. Okay. Do you see it? That's what Wendy says, and that's what Wendy gets. Hold on. All right, let's stop. Stop for a second right here. Yeah. From, from there down. See? I see. Uh, oh, yeah, stop here. Sorry. Uh, we get... All right, so while he's running around like that, I'm going to walk over here and just do a little pre. This is what everything looks like before the grilling. Uh, look, i got to get my, uh, i got to skim the milk off my butter. See, look. All right, Stephen, you have a good day, too. Steven's got to go. He's got to go, but he said he'll catch it right the rest on YouTube later. Could it still be on Facebook too? Um, yeah, it'll be on Facebook today as well. All right, so we need a third cup of mustard. Oh, stop, Lucas. What? He always shares, but he has no friends. <laughs> well, you and David can be friends. Yeah. David says the same thing. True. Nobody understands him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wah. laughs> Nobody knows the All trouble right, so we I'm want a third sitting. cup of mustard, which... <laughs> Look, it's like his mom came in one day, but that's it. <laughs> All right, so we got a third cup of mustard. Okay. Like I ain't measuring nothing. You're not measuring nothing. You're measuring something. A tablespoon of stout beer. Hey, Rick. You know, one thing that's cool about these grubby spatulas is the bottle opener. 
Yes. In case you didn't know, now you know. So a tablespoon. It's about. Gotta be careful. There you go. Ooh. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, I didn't open it. Sorry. Did did I open it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, Ronnie Yunker, welcome. He said, hey, guys, first time watching, and the food looks great. Awesome. We love a first-time watcher. Hey, what you should do is share. If you have not shared this feed already, please share it uh, and like it. And yes, Starkey, exactly. The, you know, get the word out about our show. Should we send him a T-shirt since we're giving away T-shirts today? He's sure. a first-time you know watcher. What? You get a free T-shirt, man. Um, That's a look, welcome T-shirt, Ronnie. Um, I, have a, I have a few T-shirts that I have right here. I'll ship them out tomorrow. So, so sh how should he get to Pat? Just put your, uh, send a message to Pat, or Pat will ta tag you, and um, we'll get you a shirt. Yeah. Um, we need a teaspoon of honey. Blake Moore, and we got another first-timer here. So. All right, we'll get one more t-shirt. Tag Blake as well. You should share. Hold on. Oh, my God. Hey, go put on that leprechaun. So you should share this uh, in all any barbecue group that'll let you share. It's in the bag. This feed, please share it there too. Okay. Do you see him? So That's anyway, two. all right. So I got a third cup of Dijon mustard. About a wait, hold on. These were my props that I did. <laughs> we forgot to pull out. Why you didn't even take the tag off of it? No. But it's still cute. You need <laughs> no, I'm not returning right, that. that. That's cool. actually who thinks this is one of the most awesome things they've ever seen. Look up, Riley. Look up. Here, Dad, you wear it. Actually, can you give me some uh, ice? Oh God. Go get me some ice. All right. Who thinks this is one of the, <laughs> <laughs> the most awesome things ever? Right. There's another one in there. It's a little beanie. Oh, <laughs> you can take it off now. <laughs> Everybody, welcome. Who's this? Is their first time? We're really glad to have y'all. All right. So, in our I spread, we'll go through and check the newbies and, yeah, so and look, in case see what you we don't can know, do. One, you should share. Two, uh, when this is all over, we're gonna have it on our website later on today, and um, we'll have the complete all the ingredients for everything right there. Um, we can do <clears> and this. the live every sunday almost every sunday sometimes we miss a sunday because we're out of town um and for people asking how you you buy the the t-shirts they're on our website yeah they're on our website we have uh we also uh, manufacture our own brand of barbecue accessories and we have a kick-ass uh private group. i don't want to slip on that Ruby's VIP. It you should go join it but anyway in our spread we have a uh, third cup of dijon mustard a tablespoon of Hi, Jeff. Guinness. See you, babe. Jeff's got to go. He said, I'm um, happy grilling. He's got to go back to work. Oh, sorry, man. All right. Anyway, we're here. All right. So, look, um, a tablespoon of Guinness beer, uh, some black pepper, and about a teaspoon, a tablespoon of honey. And we just want to mix that up. All right. Usually, I don't use metal pans, but I'm kind of adding my glass bowl. Smells really good. Uh -huh. okay. Tony, yeah, Tony, that's every Tony says cussing on Sunday morning. Hell yeah! <laughs> welcome to the feed. <laughs> that's all right. And uh, we're gonna mix that up. I like having a drink on Sunday morning too. It's our day off, but this is what we do on our day off. So, you know what I don't need? I need another freaking cutting board. Because, like, I got all that stuff in there. Actually, you know what? I, 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 that cutting board's not being contained. All right, so look, we can get that stuff on. No, right. And then I can cut up my, uh, my avocado. I'm only praying that this avocado is good. You know how it is when you get these freaking avocados? Sometimes they're crap. So, anyway, and then we got a tomato we got cut up. Cut some lettuce up real quick. 
and then we're going to fry an egg for our, our uh, burger. It would be good to go. Our eggs are right here. And we're almost done, guys. Y'all make sure you toss everything around like a baseball, too, just like David. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not very good at baseball. I, well, actually, I was a pitcher, and I was third base, and I was first base. Uh, third base was a really tough position. First base, to me, was the easiest. Um, right, let me get the soft butter. Nice. Ah. What? David, I can never say his name, so I'm sure I'm not saying it right. Istra? Uh, Astaire? Uh, He's there peeling shrimp and cutting up sausage later for a shrimp and sausage casserole. What? That sounds like good on the baguette, too. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're going now. All right, so first I'm going to... John Rodriguez wants to know if anybody likes uh, Blackstone or Camp Chef. Uh, I have a, a Blackstone uh, griddle. So that would answer that question. And I'm very happy with it. Yeah. All right, so look, I'm flipping this over, and I'm buttering the other side. <laughs> Starkey said, Ari, he's 10 degrees from wrapping his pastrami. Oh, shit. Uh, you all right, man. You all right. All right, so look. Remember, one of these are sourdough and one's artesian. Let's see which one's better. I bet he's not going to know the difference. I know which one is which. I can see now. I'm going to know the difference. I know you are. I'm joking. Now you sound like me. No, because I, at first when I looked at it, I was like, which one is which? But I'm looking at them now. I can tell. Thanks, John Knox. So I'm a little nervous about the bread being on that. All right, so now we it's have. Put it over. In the, we'll right. throw our burgers right on the fire. Mm. Right, Starkey, especially when it's an Irish grilled cheese, right? Oh, what kind of cheese are we supposed to be putting on these burgers? Um, you don't have to have any cheese on the burgers. Go look at go look at what's on the burgers. It's gonna be the um Well we don't have any cheese out here for it. We don't need any cheese for it. If you want, you could get yeah, some Swiss. We'll get some Swiss. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I mean it's an Irish burger, so I mean I can cut up some of that, some more of that cheese. You could. I'm just saying we didn't it's think it's about it. That's no, because we don't it's not necessary. That would make it a cheeseburger. <laughs> Marion said, need cheese. All right, so direct or indirect heat? Direct would be for the burgers, and we're debating on these grilled cheese because we were debating uh, no, it's good. the Blackstone. Or really, you just need to get it to where it gets a good grill I mark. And then no, I'm telling, the, I'm telling, I'm talking today, so I'm answering a question. So I've got uh, two different spatulas, one for the grilled cheese and one you for... You just want to melt it up. And one for the... Uh, I just want to char this just a little... Ooh, that looks beautiful. Like me. That one's got a little bit more. All right. You check the uh, grilled cheese. Is it grilled cheese? It's on indirect. It's on direct, sort of. Just the coals aren't that hot on that side. I'm going to let that go just for a minute, just to kind of get cooking. Um, and then I'm going to move it all to the indirect side to okay. get everything melting. But what I need to do really quick is cut up some of this. Yeah, let me cut up some of this cheese. Yeah, this is, um, Eli, this is actually really easy recipe and uh you can have it all done both dishes if you want both or one go. so this is going to be for the burgers okay all right <laughs> nicholas said you're burning it <laughs> that's no, the face nicholas <laughs> That one is. Uh, 
All right, Marion. See you later. Good morning, Adam. Top of the morning to you. Adam just got on, I think. It's the first time I've seen that one's perfect. That one's not. That one's perfect. That one's not. <laughs> Let that go just for a minute. Sticker. <laughs> I'm going to send you a couple stickers anyway. There you go. <laughs> Actually, if you want stickers, say something. Say, I want a sticker. In the uh oh, feed. we have Patrick O'Brien on. You better make this real Irish. Huh? Patrick O'Brien is watching. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pat O'Brien. He's in the Covington. <laughs> that one in the front. be fine. <laughs> I said flap tap. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. So, let's throw that over there. Go right here for a second. The problem is, is my coals aren't lit on this side very good. That's got fire under it. Dennis Elder said the burnt one's yours. Actually, I like them like that. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, Adam said he'll take the crunchy one, too. Almost even better. Uh, that was my suggestion. I'm sorry. I said flat top. That was my vote. You could still throw them on the flat top. Is it lit up? Yep. Why don't you put them on there? There we go. <laughs> Good catch, Dave. What? On that uh, that meat. That's what Rick Ozil said. It was. It was really freaking good. Dean said it doesn't have to be perfect for doing a great job, and that is the truth. That's why we do it live, so you can see if we make mistakes, don't make those same mistakes. Or, right, it's just the way the game is. It's just the way the game is, right. It's the way you play the game. Right. You lost it to the game. So, now look at that. That's some nice looking butter now. It's got, see this butter? It's been sitting here boiling. Look, oh, show the butter. Look how clear that is. See, now that is now clarified butter. See that? Mm. In case you don't know, all you got to do is boil your butter and then scoop the milk out of it. The milk will come to the top. You just scoop it out and it's clarified butter. You can do clarified butter like 450 degrees and it will not burn. We'll share it all. We'll what, cut it up. What burns when you are, uh, what burns when you, oh, that's fucking Now, what's wrong with that? There you go. Now, that's perfect. So, flat Dude. top, y'all, or cast iron on your grill. Yeah, I should have done the flat top. But that's how you learn. You try shit. Right, you don't learn if you don't get out there and take that little, hmm, what if? No, I should do it this way, but what if? That's how things are created. Like... This, yum. Look at those. Mm. Right, look. Let's go put some uh, cheese on some buns. Are they both done? So, whenever you cook one side a little bit too much, you cover it with cheese. <laughs> John Rodriguez said, "Learning and burning." Learning, <laughs> literally. 
All right. Let that sit in there for a couple minutes. I'm going to turn this uh, little snuff. All right. So the only thing we have left. M Report wants to know what kind of seasoning you used in that uh, burger. One, it's a corned beef burger, so it's got meat and corned so, beef. So, um, did not add any salt and pepper to the burger because we added corned beef. Corned beef has salt and pepper in it already. So, um, thank you, Chaz. So we added corned beef for the seasoning. If you're if you're looking for the seasoning, and then we added uh, onion. It was kind of minced up, more like diced. And then. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Garlic. Oh yeah, and then uh, like a spoon for a garlic. So like a spoon of garlic, uh, a, about a third of an onion, and a great big handful of uh, corned beef to a pound of burger. Okay? So, I need to hurry up and get my lettuce and stuff together. Thank you, John. Riley. Okay. Oh, eggs. I know, I'm not forgetting. Ta da Tomato. We feed the animals. <laughs> David I claims the birds are going to eat all of this. Or the squirrels. Somebody. Or a stray, stray cat. Or a stray cat. Oh, dude. This is actually nice. That's perfect. Yum. Nicholas, we have a local store, Rouse's. That's where we usually shop. Well, yeah. Huh. John Rodriguez said, love how you guys are the real deal. No edits, just true TV. <laughs> or the and. Yeah. Um, Thank you, John. That is, that is, that is accurate. No edits. <laughs> it's all live. We do everything live. We used to do recorded videos, but um, to be honest, they're a lot of work. Yeah, Whole Foods is expensive, so no, we don't shop there okay. normally. So now we just need. Tell Raleigh come here, too. Oh, we'll go look at this while he's getting plates. some plates. We're going to actually plate it up. Our plating skills are growing every segment. Mm. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> I got to get the burgers off. All right. The buns. You got a plate for them? Yep. Huh? No, nothing. Oh, you know what? Ah, I know one thing we forgot. You're supposed to put that on the hot bread when it comes off the grill. You're supposed to take, put more of that. Well, Just do it. It's not hot enough. That's what makes it the sandwich, though. Actually, it's Do on it. the inside. It's fine. All right, so when y'all make it, when it's come <coughs> off the grill, which we forgot to do, is you're supposed to um, put I some love. more of the chive butter on top, on the outside. On the top bun. That's right. Burnt side down, John. Always. Well, I got the burnt side. So right. <laughs> 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 you caught that, right? It looks beautiful like that, right? Okay. So y'all remember, because we forgot, when these come off, more of that chive butter while they're warm goes on. You spread it on, and then they're ready to eat. Daniel, we come up from with week to week, we come up with this. So I'm guessing they're done. If you have anything you want to see, Daniel, we take, we take uh, input. If so, there's anybody at anybody. I'm not sure if your burger's done, the beast dominator. Okay. If there's anything anybody wants to see us cook or wants to see how it's cooked. Ow. 
to send it in. Me right. too, Jazz. So this one's perfect. It's 135. So I do my cheese at the bottom. I actually just started doing that not long ago. This has just a little bit more to go. I'll leave that one in there for a second. Ah, Stocky wants the gumbo. The problem with the gumbo is it takes a lot of love and hours to make. <sighs> that would be like that's a the way that would should be right. That hours. would be like a <laughs> be like a five hour segment. Yeah, we do the show every Sunday well, at we 10 o'clock Central into, Standard Time. You know, we could break it up into multiple segments. <clears throat> or I could have a pot of gumbo already done and make a pot of gumbo on the air, you know, like they do on TV. Like they do on TV. Chris, we're on the uh, north shore of New Orleans. You know what I do need? Just a little bit. I need the sauce. Like I said, I do the cheese at the bottom. Damn, look at that. It looks beautiful. All right, we're not done. All right, grab them. All right, Mark, peace out. He's got to get on a plane. I waste a lot of butter. Vinta, we're doing the Irish grilled cheese, grilled and corned beef cheese sandwich, and a grilled corned beef um, hamburger. I think put all your stuff, then that goes right on the top, right? Ah, thank you, Jake. Get it all the way first. Huh? I think it goes on top of everything else. It's the topper. Oh, I was going to put some in. Oh, you know what? Right. Yeah. All right, so. Hey, Phil. No bacon today. Although, bacon is more Irish than corned beef, which we've learned. Some gator back strap. Oh, you wanted to make bacon. Ah. Gator back strap. What you think about that, Dave? That'd be awesome. Actually, you know what? That goes along with this whole other idea I have. And so, um, you know what I actually want to do? I want to have a uh, like those eggs. adventure, right? Yeah, flip those eggs. Stop. Stop. Hammer time. All right, I got to work fast here. Right. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Any on this? No. Vicky wants more appetizers. Actually, Vicky, that's what we're going to start doing. Maybe, um, maybe next week we'll do some appetizers. Does anybody is anybody interested in the uh, paleo? Paleo. Stuff? Paleo. Or is anybody interested in Grill Beast Adventures? Which means it's like a trip, right? You go like this is getting on. low battery. Huh? This one's on low battery, so yeah. yeah so we're almost done. Um. Right. Well, that's, yeah, you bring that up. We were thinking about doing some trips. Mm -hmm. And here comes the, the coupe de gras. <laughs> Holy shit. Would anybody be interested in going on these adventures? We would like, well, going this. Gator hunting. We might have to go, we might have to bring this up on the next show, because this is going to take a lot of. Oh, Chris Carter said the twist should be having people come over to eat what we cook. All right, we're not done yet. I need to move some stuff. Plate it up. You got your, um, your chips. All right, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, I've been practicing my plating. <laughs> get this shit out the way. Oh, so Jason said no, the eggs should go close to the meat. 
Just like you were going to do. That's the way I was going to do it. See? I've always eaten it on top of everything. So. Well. You can always. No. Yeah. It is what it is. I man. think it's going to be good. Either way. It's going to be fine. Emery said, See? why are you doing this to me, man? <laughs> Actually, this is the same. Chris so we don't need two of these. Or do we? Oh, you got two sandwiches. Oh, you got two breads, right? All right, so we got sourdough. Sourdough here, artesian here. Hold on. We got some kettle chips. See, so John Rodriguez says on top is the best because all the egg goes down into everything. So, coupe, coupe de gras. Thank you, Paul. Could not get that out. When he's trying to be fancy with everybody. No, just... Coupe de gras. <laughs> coupe de gras. Hold on. Stocky, this is going to be good. All right, you got a low battery mode on this one. All right, so here. Hold on. We're up. almost done. Pickle. Everybody loves pickles. Or should I not do the pickle? I think the pickle's good. Pickles, good too. pickles are always good. Now, Patrick O'Brien wants to know where's the drive-up window to pick up his order. <laughs> <laughs> his mother knife. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Pickle is good. Chris Carter says, share your pickle. I do. <laughs> All right, look. Can you get the... Can you see the yolk? Paul, when we're eating it, yeah. He touches everything. I do. Oh, my God. That's fucking good. That looks really good. Jen, they do look awesome. Do you want these on the, on the menu at your wedding? <laughs> Might be a little messy. All right. That's all I got. That's it. That's all I got. You want to try it on camera before we yeah. run them? Yeah, try all of them. <clears throat> all right, first I'm going to try the sourdough. Look at that. Dude, mm -hmm. See, that's beautiful, mm -hmm. right? That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And the bread is actually not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Right. I still think this artesian. The burnt one. Not burnt. Does anybody see any burnt on anything? No. <laughs> they do. This one's better. You like that one better? All right. Of course, I'm going to get a bite. I have to hold the cameras and he knows it, so... All right. Yeah. See, no, look. Look at the bite. It's almost a half the day. They call it a Wendy bite. Mmm. I right, stalky, see him. Mmm. Mmm. Wanna try this other one? Sure. Mmm. Mm hmm. Which one do you like better? Artesian, right? Mm-hmm. The artesian's a thicker bread. The artesian uh, sliced bread tastes better than the sourdough. They're both really good. But they're both, right, they're both equal, not equal, <laughs> but they're both really good. Sorry, Gary, it's me crunching the pickles and thing. What? He said he hears that crunch, <clears throat> delish. Sound like a horse. Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bite into it. Come on, how wide can you open your mouth? Good. Look, they got napkins right there. So we do have napkins, y'all. How long has it been? 
um, 65 minutes, so an hour and five minutes. We're still over an hour. Jesus. Here's the thing, Chris, I mean, not Chris, Chaz. It is big, but you can make them however big you want or however small right. you want. The, the burgers. burgers. Yeah. He's... <clears throat> right, because actually we thought about doing sliders, but when you put the egg on. Yeah, and we were going to do them smaller, but we bought the big bun, so we thought, what, why man? not? It's a knockout burger. It really is. And this grilled cheese, the one with the artesian bread turned out way better to me than the sour. Just don't forget, y'all, when you make it, when it comes off warm, put more of that chive butter on the outside of it. But it's really good even if you forget. It, if you forget, it's remember, still good. We did the chive butter, cheese, corned beef, cheese, pickle, chive butter, and bread. All right? And then regular butter on the outside. And then when it comes off, chive butter. And then on the burger, we mixed in a pound of uh, ground beef, uh, about a, a handful of um, corned beef, uh, a, hand, a handful of minced onion, and a teaspoon or a tablespoon of uh, teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. Um, Quail eggs if you want sliders, somebody said. That's a great idea. Yeah. Right? And then we also used, where's the packaging for the cheese? Um, I don't know. You opened it. It's Kerrygold. It's a Kerrygold um, Irish cheese. Irish, yep. Irish, Irish cheddar cheese. And I'll tell you what, it melts really good. It tastes really good. We put that on everything. And then kettle chips and oh yeah, uh, I said the uh, bread and butter pickles in this, right? Y you said pickles, but it's bread and butter on the bread inside. Bread and butter pickles on the uh, grilled cheese. That's it. Um, That's it. Again, if you did not share this yet, share it, please. Um, I don't know how many people we've had on. How many people that stuck with us? Well, we got 111 right now, but we had over 200 for a what? good portion of it. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That is, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. So, um, again, as always, I'm very honored that you showed up on a Sunday. Um, cheers to everybody. I have, we have a bunch of eating to do and a bunch of cleaning to do and a little bit of drinking and then. Maybe some movie watching. Definitely some movie watching. <laughs> so look. Thank you, Dan. Um, Thank the, you, Dan. Uh, the couple people. Oh, did, did anybody say yes they wanted stickers? Well, we're going to have to go back through the comments because I couldn't that, catch them all if uh, yeah, maybe Pat did. Yes, yeah, some people yes want. The, if you put yes in the comments, then you get, I don't like calling them stickers. They're decals. Thanks, Chaz. The Grill Beast decals. Well, send, I'll send you some for free. I have those right here in my office. Um, and then the couple people that got t-shirts. Uh, we'll, we'll send y'all t-shirts. Look out for Pat's message to, um, to, uh, to Thanks, get your addresses Chris. and stuff. I don't have any way to monitor YouTube. So next week, um, hopefully we'll have it together. We'll, can, we can monitor YouTube and YouTube people can get the same stuff. Um, anyway, I'm rambling now. That means it's time to freaking go. <sighs> I will see y'all next Sunday. We are going to be here every Sunday for a while. I don't have anywhere to go till June. And um, thanks a lot for showing up. Peace out.